Oh. Played up towards uh, Doyle. He's got Banks inside him, but Doyle goes out to the right wing. He's got Roberts Marshall. Roberts on the left. Hopeful ball into the middle. Oh, and uh, a mix up at the back. The ball comes to Dan Gardner. Now it's Sam Morsi. Shooting opportunity. Two now. Sam Morsi oh, with the same goal in the week. And really, that was a mix-up at the back again by the home side, Fleetwood. Owen Doyle put himself in amongst it. There was uncertainty between the goalkeeper and the defender. The ball came out kindly for Chesterfield. Gardner couldn't get a shot in, so he rolled it back to Morsi. And with 24 on the clock, it's 2-0 to the Spyrites. A throwing down in deep left-back territory for Fleetwood. And if the ball's there more often than not, I think Chesterfield will be quite happy. Won't it? Paul Clearance comes to Jimmy Ryan, gets a shot in. Oh, the goal! Oh, the goal! Jimmy Ryan! Oh, Jimmy Ryan! Oh, well, that was a mistake, a bad mistake at the back by Fleetwood. The ball fell to Jimmy Ryan. And do you know what he thought? I'll have a pop. He shot. And the goalkeeper died to his right. And the ball curved in at the far post. It's Fleetwood 1, Chesterfield 3. Liam Cooper. Cooper advancing forward here, the ball going through, Cooper continued his run, and the shot by O'Shea! Oh, he's got it eventually from Jay O'Shea! With 10 minutes remaining, Chesterfield take the lead. It was all started by Liam Cooper's run from the defence, and he continued his run for a while, but when the ball knocked to O'Shea, O'Shea managed to put it around the keeper, and into the back of the net to give Chesterfield the lead for the first time in the game. As the ball is played forward by Tommy Lee. Nandy will lay underneath it, wins the header. Ryan lays it out wide for Roberts. Roberts with the ball into O'Shea. O'Shea in tons of space. And Jay O'Shea sealed in for Chesterfield in stoppage time. He scored down at Playmore in that 2 0 victory. And he's scored twice here now in what will be a 3-1 victory. Can he play Torquay United every week? Tonight, hopefully Chesterfield can stop it. Here's McGlashan then from a short corner. Now Clifton towards the Chesterfield penalty area. Nodded back in, this is really dangerous. An overhead kick attempt is blocked. It bounces back down, it's scuffed into the hands of Tommy Lee. And that was dangerous. That was really dangerous. And that kick from Tommy Lee has bounced over Deering's head. Gary Roberts left hand side the penalty area. It's a good ball across it. To the right hand side. It's a strike. Oh, and it's a goal from Dan Gardner. It is a stunning, blistering counter attack from Chesterfield. The ball lumped forward by Tommy Lee. It bounced over Deering's head, who completely misread it. It came to Gary Roberts, whose ball was so beautifully crafted, was so wonderfully envisioned that it could well have been a Picasso painting. Very often. And now a chance for Owen Doyle around the back as well for a loop ball from Molly Banks. This has come from nothing. Doyle for two. Yes! It's 2 0. This is absolutely devastating stuff. That again came from nothing. From nothing. Howard and I were chatting because the ball was in the middle of nothing. Looped over the top. Somehow Doyle is onside. He goes through. Brown comes out and Doyle puts it into the roof. Into for his the roof. ninth goal of the season for the Spyrites. Banks to Morsi. Morsi again cantering. He finds Banks, but Banks' his first touch is not quite there. And it's cleared away, but only as far as Banks on the edge of the penalty area. Oli Banks sets himself right foot. It's yes! It's 3 0. It's an absolutely stunning finish from Oli Banks. And this is a Cheltenham Town side absolutely collapsing. The clearance wasn't good enough. It came right to the feet of Oli Banks. Banks shoveled it twice underfoot. And then a beautiful curling right footed shot into the back of the Scott Brown net. 3 0 now.